Hello everyone. This short video will describe and demonstrate the performance of the supraingwinal fascia iliaca compartment block. The fascia iliaca compartment lies deep to the fascia iliaca and superficial to the iliopsoas muscle. It contains the femoral, lateral femoral cutaneous, and obturator nerves. The lateral femoral cutaneous and obturator nerves, however, leave the fascia iliaca compartment in their course distally. This explains the improved efficacy of the supraingwinal approach to the block. Indications for the fascia iliaca compartment block include analgesia for procedures involving the lower limb, providing reliable cutaneous analgesia of the skin supplied by the femoral nerve, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, and obturator nerve. It also provides analgesia of the hip and knee joints. The supraingwinal approach to the fascia iliaca compartment block theoretically improves the performance by more reliably blocking the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve and the obturator nerve. To perform this block, the operator stands on the side to be blocked with the ultrasound stationed across at the contralateral side of the patient. In this video, the probe is initially placed in the transverse position at the inguinal region to demonstrate the femoral vessels and the femoral nerve similar to a femoral nerve block. The probe is then aligned supralaterally towards the anterior superior iliac spine. It is then rotated to orientate the probe in its sagittal plane. Please appreciate the structure seen here, the iliac bone and anterior inferior iliac spine, the iliacus muscle, the fascia iliaca, the deep circumflex iliac artery, the internal oblique muscle, as well as the transversus abdominis muscle. Here, an 85mm needle is inserted in plane cranially to be placed deep to the fascia iliaca. Because of the patient's habitus and post-op edema near the surgical site, the needle has been inserted from a more distal site than is typical. Here the probe is slid distally to show the needle and its subsequent entry deep to the fascia iliaca. Local anesthetic is subsequently deposited into the fascia iliaca compartment. The probe is slid back cranially to demonstrate local anesthetic deposition deep to the deep circumflex iliac artery. To reliably block all three nerves, especially while in the proximal course, it is recommended to use a volume of at least 40 milliliters. In this case, we have injected 40 milliliters of 0.375% ropivacaine. Thank you.